time for a tutorial. I'm gonna be honest, I was struggling with a few of these, especially on my weaker foot. But I'm gonna try to go naturally, talk through this, give you guys real raw footage, and just give you some ideas on how to improve these skills faster. So I'm trying to remember all of these. First one was a scoop. So I'm just going under the ball and I'm scooping it up. I'm putting like a little bit of a flick on it. So to start, your scoop might just be here. It might just be that height. If that's getting easy for you, I would challenge you to put a little more pace on it, a little more height on it. So I'm just going under the bowl and I'm scooping it up. Okay, I'm curling my toes. I'm scooping under the bowl, I'm curling my toes up to the sky or towards my shin. And I'm just releasing it. On your weaker foot, it's gonna feel awkward. You're really gonna have to flex. Really overemphasize that flex. You probably don't even have the ability to flex your foot with that much strength. But doing the skill to help you improve the strength in your weaker foot. So first one is a scoop. Next is just doing like a little roll back pop, which is how most people start with their flick ups. Okay, but just roll back, and pop. I don't want to pop into myself that much. Rolling back, look here, and then I'm driving my toes under the ball. And just like the scoop, in the beginning you might just be here, but over time if you want to have some more fun with it, try to put a little harder chop on it, pop that up higher. Okay, but I'm just sole on the ball, rolling back, and then I'm, dry, I'm driving my foot under the ball, but I'm really flicking the ball with this part of the toe, really turning my toes up. I'm not just, because if I'm just driving my feet into the ground straight, just driving straight under the ball, I'm just gonna go forward like that. If I want it to come upwards a bit, I gotta curl the toes a bit more. And it's kind of like that scoop motion but while I'm just stopping my foot there, so I'm driving my foot here, but it's not, it's not flat, the toes are curling up a little bit. Let me remember, next I did a outside. I have no idea what you would call this, but I'm just rolling the ball up. So like here you're rolling and popping up with the middle of your foot. Here I'm gonna do with the side of my foot and I'm kind of turning my hip on it and I'm doing a scoop and I can get some really nice height on that. So I'm rolling back and from here, it's kind of like this touch, this juggling touch that you would do. I'm doing that same motion. So just like you would do this, I'm doing the same thing except the ball is coming with me. And I don't want it, I don't want it to come here. I want a little more so I don't want to hear, I want a little more aiming on this side. That's not what I want. That's not what I want, that's what I mean, especially my weaker foot. That's not what I want. I want this one, somewhere in between that. Let's see, right foot, that's the one I want right there. Okay, so I'm just rolling back, curling with the outside of the foot. Here I'm doing a, roll into the other foot, into the toe of the other foot. And I'm doing kind of a hop. That feels a little awkward on my left side. Okay, but I'm rolling into my toe with some pace and I'm jumping and I'm driving my foot under the ball and popping it up, okay? If I don't roll this back quick enough, I'm not gonna be able to get under the ball, so you gotta roll with some pace. If I'm just like this, it's gonna feel awkward. And I'm almost rolling the ball on top of my foot until it's there, almost there, and then jumping. If I'm just rolling here and then jumping, my timing's off, that's not the skill, it's not gonna work, you're not gonna get height. So I'm rolling it right onto that foot, onto that toe, and then I'm jumping, popping it up. Here we're gonna go Starting to get into some more advanced ones. And 
and I'm doing all these with weak foot, strong foot, weak foot. I haven't done some of these in a while, and it showed on my weaker side. I don't even like, I don't even like saying weak side or weak foot. Yeah, two strong feet. One might just have to catch up to the other, but it's actually good for me to practice on the weaker side, the weaker side, because yes, these are flicks and tricks, and I always criticize freestyle tricks, but it is good for ball mastery. It's good for you to learn how to manipulate the ball and especially use your weaker side to do some of these skills. So please challenge yourself. Don't just do it all on your right or all on your left. Play with it a bit. When you get into these tougher skills, it is, it is hard on the weaker side, but hard is good. You don't want easy. Easy doesn't make you better. Hard makes you better. Do what is hard and the game becomes easy. Do what is easy and the game is going to be hard. Come back to me. We'll save that motivational stuff for another video. So this one, I'm just rolling back into my foot, kind of like you did this one, except I'm not jumping. I'm just, I'm just turning my foot and I'm rolling it into my foot. My foot is staying planted here. It's not going anywhere. I'm just using it as a rebounder and I have to pull it again with enough pace. If I don't pull that hard enough, I'm not going to get the height. The harder I pull that, and I hit it on the right surface, the harder I pull that, the more it's gonna bounce up. So planting, I'm kinda of turning, and I might even put a slight angle on it, because if I'm down like this, it's gonna go forward. If I, I still want it flat on the ground, but if I lean back a little bit, not even my body, just my foot angle, put that angle up a bit, I'm gonna get more of a pop on the ball. Come back. So right foot, left foot, this one. Next was similar. So here I'm rolling into myself. This one I'm actually rolling across my body. So I'm rolling across and pulling it into my foot and making it pop up. Here, similar, except this one's moving. This one is important to get a little bit of that, especially as I'm, I'm coming out of it. Let me see. So as you can see, I'm, I'm rolling and I'm leaning here. So when I'm making contact, I'm not straight like this. I'm actually here. And the ball's not, it's not hitting my studs. It's still hitting the inside of my foot, but I'm kind of catching it. So I'm getting under the ball and making it pop up. Tricky, and you need enough pace. I was struggling. I was struggling on my left side here. I'm not pulling it with enough pace, and my foot is too straight, I'm not here. Play with that one. Let me see if I can remember. Let's keep it going. So here I'm rolling up the ankle. I'm just trapping it against the foot and I'm rolling it up the ankle, creating that spin on the ball, catching it before it lands. And I was having trouble on this side. You can see I'm not getting the same height. I'm not used to that motion. I'm not pulling it hard enough. But practice that a few more times and it'll come. Next progression of that is same movement, except now, I'm not doing that, I'm gonna hit it, I'm gonna roll it up, but I'm gonna hit it with the sole of my foot. So I'm rolling up, when it gets to that top point, I'm actually hitting down with my sole. And for some reason, it is always tough on this side. Let me show you that I fail all the time. I just keep going until I get it. Next. Scorpion, I believe. Oh, sorry, chops. So here I'm just, from standstill, both feet coming together, making that ball pop up. So I'm just clapping under the ball with my toes, I'm bringing my toes together, and I'm making it pop up. In order to get some real height, I'm kind of jump, I'm jumping into it almost, putting more force on the movement, and I'm kind of 
skipping back. But to get it to go straight up, you need that perfect timing. Then we went into what I call scorpion. So instead of a rainbow, we'll do the rainbow after. Scorpion, I'm just trapping it between both and jumping up at the same time. Okay, so just trap the bowl. And I have to make sure, because if I just go like this, it's not gonna come past me. I'm trapping the bowl, I'm throwing my legs, but I'm actually coming slightly, if I'm going right side, I'm coming slightly to the right, to the, yep, yeah, to the right. And if I wanna come this way, my legs have to end to the left, so I don't hit myself in the back. Then I did a, just calling this a jump. Similar skill, except I'm way in the front rather than the back. And I don't want to hit myself. Just like that. And the higher you jump, the more you throw it, the more height you're going to get. You might just start right here. Over time, grab it a bit harder. Jump a bit higher. Release, it's like a tough jump with the knees. Let's keep going. Where are we at? Rainbow. So, scorpion, I'm just popping like that. Rainbow, I'm rolling it up my leg and then I'm hitting it with the heel. So, just like you did this one, but now the left foot, if I'm rolling with my right leg, my left foot is coming and I'm hitting it with my left heel. Going over, rainbow. And if I just want it to go straight up, I'm probably gonna, my body position is gonna be a little more up. If I want it to go forward, I wanna lean forward with that movement. When I execute, I want my body position here. So if you're, like you're trying to go over someone, you want to go into that space, really lean forward, but then you have to put more force on that movement. Lean forward more, hit it harder. Here we got into some difficult ones. Well, the first progression of this, I'm calling this a pop. So I'm not, uh, we just did that basic one, which was like this. One of the first ones, roll back, just popping up with the toe. This is similar, but I'm rolling this way back behind me. When it gets here, I'm executing that skill, but I don't want the ball to go there. I want it to pop up here, kind of behind me. And something like that, but I don't want it, just what I did there, I don't want to hit my knee. So you might be struggling with that, putting that into yourself too much into yourself too much so focus on hitting a more if that's happening you're probably hitting too much on this side of the ball you want to hit a little more on this side of the ball let me find it and then it'll get out of the way of your body that's the one I want right there okay so I'm rolling back look at my body position I'm not up here body position there hard plant and I'm rolling behind me this is where I re this really took me a long time on the left side, let's go again. And learn from your mistakes, kind of that one. Okay, but I'm set, before I even did the skill there, I was already set up to fail because I was lazy with my body positioning. This stuff is just as important as what you do with your feet. I need a, a better plant here, a better lean forward, and I gotta focus on that ball, on the execution of the ball, again. If I keep going in myself, I'm hitting too much on this side. Hit a little more on this side. And if anything, I want to go over there. Something like that. Next skill was the progression of that. So I'm calling this a pop smash. I'm popping up. And then I'm hitting the ball into the ground with forward lean and making it come forward. Okay, but there, got the skill, but it's 
it's going backwards. I want that to come forward, so I need to lean over it a bit more. I'm popping here, and I'm actually, I'm popping the ball up, and I'm hitting with the inside of my foot. I'm not hitting laces down. You could do that if you got that technique. For me, I'm hitting more with the inside of the foot into the ground, but I want it to come forward. So I have to have my body movement going that way. Come again. Come again. It's good for you guys to see me screw up because if you think every freestyler, everyone doing tricks and videos nails it every single time, you're kidding yourself. Okay, the demo in the video will show you that skill. Honestly, on my left side, it took me so many takes. I'm not sloppy, but you can see it work. On the left side, honestly, probably took me 50 takes to get it on my left side. But no frustration, just go again, go again. Think about what you're doing. Don't just make the same mistake 50 times in a row. Do different mistakes, think about, okay, where am I hitting it? What am I doing with my body? Why does it keep going here when I want it to go there? Change it, make different mistakes, and you will improve the skill. Here we did a toe heel. So from this position, I'm not touching the ball. My first touch is with my toe. I'm flicking it onto the heel of my other foot, and I'm slapping it down into the ground. So getting my toes under the bowl, Ooh. and both sides, let me get a better one on my left, something like that, okay, it's a little jump, so I'm not, it's not a standstill, you won't be able to do that, you have to, from, as soon as I do this, I'm jumping, hopping, and getting the timing right, and coming down on the ball with my heel popping it into the ground. Did a, what am I calling this? It's like a jester. So if you watch a juggling video I recently did, this is a jester. Something like that. So this, the pickup is the same. So I'm starting just like he did this one. Same motion there, except I'm going around the ball with my other foot, and I'm getting to that ball. I was struggling again on my weaker side. I was going too much forward with this flick rather than up, just like that. Okay, so I really have to focus on curling my toes more, because on this side I'm going up enough for me to get to the ball. Curl the toes more, really overemphasize the turn in the toes and the flex of the ankle. And then I was able to get to it. Last one, I was calling this, last one, I don't know what you would call this skill, I just wrote it down as behind the back. Let me break it down. So, my body positioning is important, I need a little bit of balance. My foot's, my planting foot's not here. My planting foot is across the ball. I'm coming with this back leg, and I'm actually starting with that movement. I'm pushing with my sole forward, and I'm trapping the ball on my toes, on the front of my boot, and when I come back. So this is one, this is two. I'm rolling back one, two, I'm rolling back and I'm getting under the ball. I'm getting under the ball with my big toe and my cleats. And I'm scooping, I'm scooping up the ball. And on the other side, for some reason, because I always did it, I always did it on my left. This is actually harder for me on my right. Because, let's talk about it, my body position isn't as good. I'm not as low and centered. And 
the technique of my foot, I'm not turning this enough. I'm too, I'm too much here rather than here. I'm too much here rather than here. Okay, so that's all the skills, but that, even that last part there, me just breaking it down in my head, that's what you need to do. Why is it wrong? Why isn't it working? What do I need to do differently? Why is it better on my right than it is on my left? Ask yourself these questions. Don't get frustrated. Practice these skills. You're gonna improve. You're gonna learn these tricks. You'll be able to impress your friends. But remember, at the end of the day, skills are only important if they help you in the game. So use these to improve your ball mastery. But at the end of the day, we gotta score goals, we gotta win games, make tackles, defend, keep possession, stay positive, love this game, keep improving every day.